I'll, well, I'll, you I'll, can bring I'll, it out now. No. Let us yeah, let me ask him one question. Yeah. Carla. Yeah. Are you aware that yeah. Trinity has been shot five different times fighting for this country? Shot I, in the I, face. I, no, I, that's I, right. I, I, shot in the face in Warwick Hills. Shot in Rima. Shot along Bay Farm Road. Shot on Chisholm Avenue fighting for this country. Are you aware of that? So do you... Yes, yes, no. Yes, let yes, me ask yes. you this. If you're in my position... Yeah. The way you have been socialized, confronting people in that way, wouldn't you be extremely cautious every time you engage in a situation that is potentially but, dangerous? But, if you but, were me, just imagine yourself in my position. That is why I make that's why, that's why I pose the first question to you. I yeah. don't believe then that in order for the JCS to, to get a different image, we'll have to get um, we'll have to retire a lot of you, 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 you're a senior because you'll be socialized in a different pol type of policing and that, that type of policing is not going to bring the country, country forward. Well, let me ask you this. Are you aware that for the la last 30 years I've not been involved in that type of policing? Are you aware that uh -huh. my kind of Trinity policing, the Trinity years, were from 1972 to 1980? And no, I, I, you don't, no I, don't, I, I don't think it's quite 30 years. I think it's, 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 it's closer to about, to about. All right. You have made your pronouncement. Can I ask you two questions? Yes. And I want you to be honest. Are you a taxi operator? No, 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 you're no, no. You no, have no, nothing no. to do with taxi operation. No, 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 no. Far from it. Far you're from not it. A, you're, you're not, you're not, you have never been taken before the court for any breach, traffic breach. Never, never, okay. never, okay. never. Okay. So, so then, that that they, they, you you are giving that impression as a person, independent person, standing aside and looking. Yeah, but what I've seen, what I've seen with my own eyes. Okay. All right, sir. So All I, right. Um, yeah, we have got to another caller, but another caller. But um, when 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 you saw um Mr. Gardner in that menacing way, you said never have any arm, any arms in a man. No, I didn't see. It. Wola, 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 no, wola, no. Me yeah. not, me not try to protect him now. Yeah. And you never see me with their arms in them hand. And you never, and you never, um, you, you, well, you never, um, he, he wasn't cussing, or he wasn't saying, I'm going to lick you down, boy, I'm going to shoot you. Hello? He Hello? was, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was, in a, he was behaving, in my opinion. Describe the physical action, no man. In my opinion, the way he was behaving, was not in my opinion a police. I know, I know, but just describe the physical action. It was, it was threatening the the the, 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 the motor that he went take away, carrying all the type of thing. That's what, that's what you said. That's what you call behaving like a common criminal. And it was, and it was very, very, very loud and and, and all the type of thing. They're not in my opinion a police officer. Well, uh, that's what you call behaving like a common criminal. I have been through some dread thing with police, you know, so I, 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 know, I know what you're talking about still. When, but I, when, I, when I say a common criminal, I don't mean that I'm going to point the man to man's face like he wants to shoot him. Like that's what I, what I, what I, what I say you now. Yeah. Uh, all right, here, sir. Yeah, um, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, sir, thank you very much. Yeah, good, right, good morning okay. and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning. Drive, welcome to the gentleman, you know. Yes, sir. The public, because uh, this is a man... <laughs> I know over a long years. We, we don't have much of a contact as such. But I, uh, my job have to take me to his home once to find his wife for, for, to deal with a matter, government matter. Yeah. And then um, I spoke to him. He was very nice to me, very kind and um, sociable. He had to be running all the same, and he apologized for his uh, short stay. And he went and he gave me the necessary advice, and I was happy with it. Yeah. I don't think he is that. But he's got to, I know he's a no-nonsense man. I'm, uh, there's no uh, apologies for that. And he got to be uh, uh, under the circumstances and his position. L let me say this to you, sir. Let me just make this point. Because I might yeah. never have the opportunity again of saying it as a policeman. Uh -huh. I don't take any pleasure for the, um, the character that um, is portrayed. Um, or some people have of me. Like, um, like Richard III. You know, I can say now is the winter of my discontent. May a glorious summer by the sun of York. I mean, I'm looking at leaving the force shortly. And while I might not have been perfect in a lot of situations, I mean, in the application of the use of force, there's a continuum. First of all, you have to be loud as a policeman. When you do the sort of work that I have done, and when you are and in the situation, the, fir the first step in the use of force is to state loudly, clearly, 
unambiguously what you intend Ten to do. Yeah. So you see, before you pull the gun, right, you have yeah. to tell people, do not move, stay yeah. in your car. And it is nothing different from all the police in the United States or in Britain, right? But some people don't understand. When you are involved in traffic enforcement, especially with people who do not consider themselves criminals and people to whom you have to speak in a certain tone of voice, people take um, umbrage to it. And I understand the way the motorists feel because if I had a, the, the, the pleasure of start talking to him for a greater time, we could get out of him what is the, the, the nature of his yeah, discontent. Yeah. But I mean, you're living in Jamaica and some people are going to like you, others won't like you, and that is the way of life. But this is how it is. But, um, and listen, if you're not firm, they will take your kindness for weakness. Precisely. You have to make them know that you're a no-nonsense person. And I can say that. I know you're, you don't believe I, I, in I have to apologize to you, sir. Can you imagine the, the number of people who line up behind you? Because, so, thank you very much again. Here's uh, hold on a minute. Listen, I want to say something about discipline. No, no, I, I'm begging you. Let, just let go of some of the other people, because they are so anxious. And yes, I, I'll come back later in the program. Because you know, sir, me welcome you. Oh, all right. Well, don't feel now, yes, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Yes, good morning. And welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Indeed. Thanks for pulling me on board. Yes, sir. How you doing? Yeah, man. Uh, Mr. Gardner? Yes, sir. Morning. Uh, pleasant morning to you, sir. It's a privilege to be speaking to you, you know? Um, the question that I want to ask, you see, I've been concerned over the years. So many police have been dismissed from the force. Sometimes the circumstances under which they have been dismissed. While one would not um, say a man for do certain things, but, I mean, as one bridge said to me, say, if a policeman can't use him head for start out for one situation, then he shouldn't be in the force any at all. But I'm wondering, in terms of the training that the police get, um, especially within recent times, do they point out to them that straight up, you cannot put your basket or you can't reach it? Uh, let me tell you this. In other words, taking bribes and all them no, kind of things. How come so much police have take bribes? No, I've said it. As an attorney, you know, there are certain canons um, um, which, which govern your con con and conduct, right? Yes. And your character is not like bits of paper. People might say, like, uh, what a lot of people might think, um, as the previous caller do, you know, they will say Trinity is a man that is abrasive and all that. But one of the things when I nothing could disturb me in the part in this force than yep. have people say that I'm a corrupt policeman that have taken bribes and, and, and involved in um, drug deals and all of that, right? Yes. To me, that is the greatest thing. I'm telling you that the amount of training that I've gone um, into police police selection and all of that. Yes. And it is just that we have the same repository, the same source of drawing policemen and soldiers. The same pool. You're drawing from, from the same, same pool. pool. And yes. if people are inherently corru corrupt then they will, they will um, portray that sort of, they will have that propensity. And yeah, but, that I must, but I must say that the, the force and the organization yeah. yes. supposed to filter out things. Can't do it perfectly. They do it as, but they, they do it as best as they can. But yeah. I'll tell you let, something. Let, let's go for a break. Yes. Don't, don't forget to go into that. Yes, indeed. We have a talk. Yes. yes. So, basically what I'm saying, how come, I mean, with so many of these, um, you know, corrupt cops being weeded out of the force, it does not seem to work as a deterrent because more and more of them seem to be falling from grace to disgrace in terms of taking bribes. Sir, let me tell you this. Yes. Um, life is about choices and you stand or you fall by them, right? It's a yes. stupid policeman who would go out of his way now to get involved when we have so many people from... Um, policemen and other people, so many um, um, national and regional organizations yeah. are up in arms against corruption and, and take that, that risk. I, I'm not sorry for anybody who gets involved in that sort of thing yeah. and, and so on. So as I say, it's about choices, not for lack of training and lack of, uh, or lack of sensitization. I mean, yeah. we have a whole police um, high command now, none of whom are tolerant to that sort of behavior. So if a policeman goes out and collects a bribe or behaves in mean, a criminal matter yeah. and, and stuff, then the justice must take its course. 
because the salary is good, it's not the best in the world, but it's much better than other, um, a lot of other government agents, even private organizations. So, I mean, and if uh, a person because yeah. of greed gets involved in that, then, you know, they, yeah. have, they don't have my pity or sympathy. You ever give any thought to what will become of the society with so many of them being thrown out of the force? How, how difficult is it for a police to get no, a work sir, after the sir, it's, it, it, Every organization must renew itself. Uh, so 